legendary Knossos. Once palace to King Minos. That chest, it's mine. I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back. These ruins are an interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, below this very spot, my batter, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As I waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not batter. I need to save him. A tragic tale. But last I heard, the Minotaur was living in Pevka. He's quite famous. They don't know what they're talking about. The real Minotaur is in Mesara. That's what they said in Pevka. It's a scam. Trust me, I know scams. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater's... Find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your father. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Ardos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground, with a huge door. Everybody keeps going on about cow. The Seos killed the Minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar, like... like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The Minotaur is still alive, and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No pater has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. They really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Almost there. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos' palace. Open the door. I've got the Minotaur to slay. Ah! Oh, right. It's locked. If you don't know how to get in there, I swear... I don't. But the guys who went into the labyrinth with my batter will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me. Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my batter or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Bold. And the Collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy, 
They call him Swordfish. Of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay, and he's mean. Where should I start looking for swordfish? Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. I'll make sure they all talk. You must be the hoarder. The collector. Dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The... No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. I'm not here to break bones. I'm here for information. Give it to me, and I'll be on my way. I'll answer your questions, but you won't ask the right one. Can we not play games? Fine. You're going to need Theseus's armor, which I sold to be part of a collection at the fort. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus's when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios... Don't make Nikios's mistake. Wear Theseus's armor. You said you sold Theseus's armor. Who has it? A military commander, stationed in the fort. He has a cave filled with all sorts of prizes. The armor is his crown jewel. Sounds like a hard thing to part with. No, easy. That armor, it would have saved Nikios. It would have saved the boy's father. Yet, I wore it. I didn't deserve. The armor haunted me. No point keeping ghosts in my collection. What do you know of the boy? Son of Nikios. Stubborn. A little shit. His father's son. You remember him fondly enough, yet you refuse to speak to him. If I speak, he might not listen. The truth is armor against little, Mistyos. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If the Zeus's armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of the Zeus's armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind, and perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave.
Is real. I wonder how many more pieces of Heseus's armor are there. This must be Argus's house. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. 
Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe, far from here. Hmm, where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I... it's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what'll happen if you don't tell me anything? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? Where is the old man? They're at Festos village, southwest of here. They got him tied to a post and they're beating him. What is to happen to the boy? I don't know, Mistios. They just told me to bring him back, but we both know what they're capable of. And you'd bring them an innocent boy? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agreed to kidnap the boy. They're just up the road. The cult. Go kill them all. You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Mistyos. The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festos. There's the old man amongst those guards. <laughs> The old man is here. Something here. Wait, wait. Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy. Thank the gods. Let's get out of here before they return. Breathe, old man. 
man. Ardos, the boy. Is he safe? Uh, alive? I won't let anyone hurt him. Though I do sometimes think about strangling him myself. Ardos has been known to test even the most resolute of wills. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc. The key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mistios. I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. They have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family. He needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Miss Dios. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Miss Dios. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me.
Fishermen should know something about swordfish. Hey, I'm looking for swordfish. Can you help? Piss off, Malacca. I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes, swordfish. I hope. You know what you're in for. He's ruthless. Cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's all I know, mistress. I'll keep that in mind. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. Aha! The beginning on What's the problem? My husband is missing. He went out fishing yesterday near Nafti and hasn't returned. You must miss him. This is more than a wife missing her husband. I truly fear he's in danger. In danger of what? Pirates. They were spotted in the area recently. I told them it was too dangerous, but we needed the Rahmi to pay sword fees. I could rescue your husband, for a price. Please, I'll find a way to pay. Just get him back. I'll look for your husband. Where should I start? His favorite fishing spot is on the west coast of Anafi, north of here. If he's alive, I'll find him. Seems strangely excited, Pirobodos.
the commander's return. Sent me to find you. Praise Poseidon! The pirates were waiting for high tide to attack. We need to leave now. I'll escort you back to Heraklion. I'm right behind you. I owe you beyond measure. How can I repay you? There's enough widows in this world. We didn't need another. I was happy to help. We're behind on our payments to short fees, so your kindness is appreciated. But here, take this. Tell me about Swordfish. Swordfish? Uh, even his name. I last saw him many years ago, diving for treasure around Fisherman's Beacon. I haven't seen him since, but his presence is felt everywhere in Heraklion. He is here, somewhere. We should check out the waters near the beacon. Thank you. 
Mistios, I need your help. What's the problem? We've been ravaged by storms and rough seas. Poseidon is angry. Have you tried making an offering? A simple offering isn't enough to appease him. We need to perform a ritual, but we can't do it without our ceremonial axe. Sounds like you need to find that axe for Poseidon. I do, but not for Poseidon. For Swordfish. Swordfish? Tell me more about him. He's the one who ordered us to conduct this ritual every month. He runs the fish market. I can't say anymore. No one talks about swordfish and gets away with it, Mistios. What if I insist? Then I insist you retrieve the axe for me. You insist? No, no. Politely request. And of course, there'll be plenty of Rachmi for your help, Mistios. Do you know where the axe is? Bandits took it. There's a cave east of town. If you follow the path along the shoreline, I'm sure you'll find them. I'll go take a look. And don't swing it around. It's a delicate ceremonial axe. Here we are. Yeah! I should be careful. High security here.
This must be the axe. Doesn't look like it can cut anything. else to find that axe, Mircios? Why do you fear swordfish? Everyone does, Mircios. He's not quite the reputation. Who is this swordfish you want to impress? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. Swordfish has always run the fish market with an iron fist. Charges the fishermen fees. If they don't pay up, the sharks eat well. Point me in Swordfish's direction. I don't know where he is. No one's seen him for years, Mistyos. Some think he's dead. Just last week, some fishermen boldly said we should no longer pay fees to a dead man. Guess who's dead now? I'll take my chances. Where is he? He used to live at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. You could try your luck there. This axe would fetch a good price at the Aura. No, you can't sell it. Give it back. I'll pay you. Take all the drachmi I have. The axe was yours to begin with. Take it. You had me worried, Mistyos. Thank you. I owe you my life. Let's ride. This is it.
By the gods, what's going on here? Swordfish. have nothing to do with the cultists. Think I believe you! You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vimos? Answers. And you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the steel. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! Ah! I'll feed you to the sharks! so good with a sword after all. You can find Drachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. Man, haunted by the Minotaur to the very end.
You. Whatever it was, I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you. Oh, he told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait! And stored fish? What did he say? You found him, right? He said the key goes in the steely. Oh, I know where the steely is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth, a disc. Oh. You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc. In a stilly. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the stilly, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about a minotaur. And... And you'll save my pater too, right? Hardos, I don't... I don't think your pater is still... He's alive, I know it. We just have to hurry. Looks like a piece of the Zeus's army. Be Minoan. What is this? Walaka, oh, it's real. Why the gods? The string the Zeus used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end.
creature of rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this. I've been this way before.
this Minotaur.
The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I didn't find him. There's no way anyone but me could have survived down there. My Petr was fast and really smart. If anyone could have, it would have been him. Maybe he got out. That's why you couldn't find him. Ardos? He's not coming back. You said you looked, right? And if you couldn't find him, he must have made it out. A crack in the wall. Or, you know, he climbed out the way you went in, yeah? No. <laughs> Your pater loved you. If he got out, he'd have come to see you. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Pater ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Mistios. Without Pater, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Ardos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's head home first. Maybe something there will help us find your pate. Home? Yes, our home. Let's go. I'm sorry I stole you. I understand. And your amulet. We're not above the cloud. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We are both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. 
and you would have been unprepared. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the ancient ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding stilies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over... Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. You don't 
speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We ease you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, Eagle Bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursor should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is... An opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread?
Rebels to the Rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Friction! When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There is so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of we are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it.
Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot.
Where is it? Knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. So much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again.
What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Vanavas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the stuff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs>